what is going on guys in this video we are going to create a complete fully functionable call and video call application this is the login page of our application where you can give username and click on login we we'll log in in two devices so here you can give the username whom you want to call click on call button as you can see we have immediately received the call in another device we can accept the call and it will be real time we can also end the call also we can do video call as well accept we can also turn off the video we can mute unmute we can switch the camera we can turn the speaker on and off so this complete application we are going to create so for making this application we will use jigo cloud service which is a global communication service provider so with jigo cloud we can build powerful interaction app with voice and video chat api so this has lots of product like you can see voice call video call live streaming in app chat and a lots of products and also in developer sections we have documentation ui kits so by writing less line of code we can integrate the jigo cloud services so in this video we are going to use voice and video call service so let's get started with new android studio project click on new project let's select empty views activity click on next let's give the application name my video call app select language as kotlin minimum sdk let it be 8.0 and build configuration language let it be recommended one click on finish till our project loads in android studio let's go to jigo cloud and create the project there so jigo cloud.com here you should create an account as you can see we can create account over here i already have an account so i will do login now we are in the dashboard let's click on create your project and you can see there are lots of use case over here so we are doing voice and video call so we can select this voice and video call click on this go to bottom over here and click on next here you can give your project name let's say my video call and you can see over here we have the ui kits which require less than 10 lines of code and we can use sdk as well but here we will use ui kits it will be easy to implement for us so let's click on start with ui kits click on this now our project is being created in jigo cloud let's get back to the android studio and see if our project is created correctly let's run the application so we can see hello world that means our app is created correctly now let's get back to the jigo cloud our project is created here as well now you can click on framework selection here select android here you can see you can select different configuration let's click on save and start integration on bottom over here so first thing we require is app id and app sign over here so you can see we have app id and app sign let's copy this and use it in our android studio project so copy app id so here what i will do i'll go to our package and create a new class let's call it app constants it will be object and here i will store app id paste it and i will store app sign in a string format so i'll paste it app sign this app id let's make it long so so i'll give l over here now we have stored app id and app sign we can use this anywhere let's close this and here let's click on quick start here you can see quick start in the left hand side if you see we'll select quick start with call invitation because we want to receive call as well with the invitation so let's select this and you can see the documentation over here we'll jump into the step so first thing we have to add this maven url so let's copy these two lines and let's go to settings.gradle and in this dependency resolution management we'll paste it we have to give it in a bracket and string format as a parameter like this so for this also remove these comments once we have added these urls we have to add this dependency in our build at gradle that is app label so let's copy this dependency from here go to build at gradle that is app label and in the dependencies over here paste it so here also we have to give in brackets and a string format now you can click on sync now it will download all the dependencies so once it is downloaded we can close this gradle files now if you see over here so for xiaomi phones we have to add this permission you can add this and for some phones you have to do this auto start you can do these things by reading the documentation now we have to implement the call invitation so for that what we require we require app id that we have already stored app sign also we have already stored so we need user id and username from where we will get this user id and username without this we can't call anyone we have to store unique user id so if you are integrating this in your existing application you already might have user id unique for all the users so we need that user id to start the call but for this application we will create a mock login page so that we can get the user id from the user itself so let's do that so for that what i will do i will create a new activity empty views activity let's call it as login mock login let's say click on finish 
and here in the design view we'll split it and start writing the code so here we will make this constant layout as linear layout and orientation will be vertical and gravity will be center so that we can add everything in the center so first item what we will add we will make a minimal design we'll add a text view wrap content wrap content text will be let's say login here text size let's say 32 sp and below this we will add one edit text so that we can take input from the user width will be match parent height will be wrap content margin let's give 32 dp and hint let's say user name and let's give id to it username input that's it now below this we'll create a simple button that will be wrap content text will be login and id will be login button that's it we have created a simple mock login page to get the username from the user and when we click on login we'll go to home page so for that what i will do first in the manifest i will declare this mock login activity as default launcher so for that here i'll give mock login and instead of this mock login i will give main activity by default it will launch this activity if i run the application you can see we are in login page let's get the username from the user so here in this activity what we will do i will create late init where username input edit text and we have button that is login button that is button so here username input equals to find view id r dot id dot username input and login button equals to find view id r dot id dot login button now on click of login button what we will do set on click listener will get the username so value username equals to username input dot text dot to string in this way from the edit text we'll get the username now if you go back to the geocloud documentation we require user id and username we'll use this both as an username first what we have to do first we have to create a config and then we have to initialize this geocloud ui kit pre-built call service so this thing we have to do with these values so first let's create a config so here value config equals to Jigo UI pre-built call invitation, Jigo UI kit pre-built call invitation config, and then I will initialize. So, so Jigo UI pre-built call service dot init require application that will be application app ID from app constants dot app ID app sign app constant dot app sign user ID will take from username username also will take from username and config we have already created that is config that's it so we have initialized Jigo Cloud UI kit pre-built call service that means now we are able to receive the call and we are able to make the call so this will initialize the Jigo Cloud service we have to do it in a login now so once we log in and initialize we'll go to the home page so for that I will do intent equals to intent and I will pass this and we'll go to main activity class.java so from this intent we'll pass the username to another activity so that we can show something like welcome and the username so here what we will do intent dot put extra in put extra we can pass username that will be the username and we can start activity that is intent that's it so now we are passing username from this mock login now if i run so here we can do let's say abc for now if i click on login I will go to main activity that is hello world. I will go to main activity that means our service is started. Now let's design main activity. Let's close everything. And in main activity what we will do, we will show the username over here and we will add edit text and voice call and video call buttons. So here we will make this as linear layout, orientation will be vertical and gravity will be center. This text view I will remove this constant things. Let's remove this world and we will show the username over here. Let's give the text size as 24 sp and we'll give id current username text view and below this i'll copy this text view below this i'll remove this id and right here let's have a call 20 sp and below this i will add edit text match parent wrap content margin 32 dp hint will be target username id will be target username input so here user will add the username whom he want to call now below this we will add two buttons that is provided by Jigo cloud so for that also i will use linear layout match parent wrap content orientation let's say horizontal i want to add two buttons in horizontal gravity will be center and here i will add the buttons provided by Jigo cloud so Jigo call invitation button that is Jigo send call invitation button width let's give 48 dp height let's give 48 dp margin let's give 32 dp and id will be this will be our voice call button so let's give voice call button we'll have two buttons one will be displayed over here in the runtime right now it is not being displayed so i'll copy this again below it we'll add video call button so here you can see two buttons are there but it is not displayed as of now it will display in the runtime 
one is voice call and one is video call now we'll start integrating in the main activity so that we can call the other user so from here we'll call the other user so here what we will do get the username text view so let in it where current username text view that will be text view and let in it where target username input that will be edit text and we will have buttons so voice call button and video call button that will be voice call button zigo send call invitation button and video call button zigo send call invitation button now we'll get id for each so current user in text view find me by id r dot id dot current username target username r dot id dot target username input voice call button uh, dot id dot voice call button video call button uh, dot id dot video call button so we have got all the reference first thing we will show the username in this username text view current username text view dot text equals to we'll get from intent so intent dot get string extra that will be username so we'll receive this intent from mock login activity if i run now so if i write here test we'll have the username that is test so we can make it like hello plus intent if you run again so test it will be hello test let's have a call and we can type here the username we want to call and the buttons will be visible so buttons will be visible only when we type some target username so for that what we will do here we'll add text change listener for this target username input so target username input dot add text change listener and here import extension now here on text change what we will do we'll set up the voice call and video call button so for that we'll create a method set up a voice call that will be function and function set up video call so from here we'll call set up voice call as well as set up video call so in the setup what we will do if you check the documentation of jigo cloud we have add the button for making call invitation you can see over here we have to set some values that are set is video call set resource id and set the invitees so you can see over here so we have to do these three things so here if you see for voice call button what we will do dot set is video call will be false voice call button dot set resource id will be if you copy from here jigo ui kit call and paste it third thing will be dot set invitees so if you see over here it will require the invitees so how we'll get the invitees we'll convert the single user in a singleton list so collections collections dot singleton list will create the user from the username we have so jigo ui kit user so what will be the username we have to take the username from target so here i will do value target username equals to target username input dot text dot to string in this way we will get the target username we can pass in these functions like this and we can get it from here username string here also username now here in the jigo ui kit user we can pass username and also user id as username so both value we are passing username in this way we can set up the voice call invitation i'll copy these three lines paste it over here the difference between video call and voice call is just set is video call as true that's it everything is same only we have to set is video call as true and for audio call we have to set it as false that's it so whenever we input the target username it will set up voice call and video call we can click on those button and it will call the user so to test this we have to run in two emulators i will run in two emulators one and two so select multiple device one and two okay i'll run it on both device so we are running on two device so for the first device i will give tony login you can see hello tony let's start a call and here i will give steve and login so we have two users one is logged in with tony and one is logged in with steve if i want to call from here i will add the steve and only video call icon is visible because here as you can see we are setting is video call to voice call button so here it should be voice call button here it should be video call button so here video call button video call button and video call button for the setup video call if i run again now if you write tony login steve login now from here i want to call steve so i will write steve immediately as you can see we have both the icon visible so we can do the audio call we can do the video call so let's do audio call now so first time it will ask to 
first time it will ask to first time it will ask the permission as you can see we have received the call over here and we use a limit token and from here we are calling if i receive the call over here here also give the permission now we can talk to each other you can see we have the mute icon unmute we have end call we can put it on the speaker also we can cut the call and it will cut the call so as you can see how simple it is to implement jigo cloud voice call and video call now we'll test video call also let's click on this you can see immediately we receive the video call give the permission for video here we'll receive it give the permission you can see these both are in a video call and it is real time so here you can mute and unmute you can close the video as well like this you can switch the camera so that the back camera it will be visible you can see it is real time we can mute yourself and we can end the call so in this way we will implement so if you want to call from here let's say tony you can receive call over here we can talk and again if you want to do video call you can see immediately we have received the video call over here so it is completely real time and it is very simple to implement we have just implemented the initialization with two lines of code and we are setting up the video call with these lines of code we have implemented the video call and voice call in our application this is the beauty of jigo cloud if you create a account from the link in the description you will get 10000 free minutes so that's all for this video if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye